guys, welcome to a new video for developing and grow. And in this video, I'll be showing you the basic building block of any programming language, the variable. So before we start, I would highly recommend you download the game that you see me running right now, the developing interface or RC3, and that you fill out the form to get access to testpad 3D, the server I'm currently logging into right now, to test it all by yourself. Now, all the links will be in the description with our Discord community link, and you're welcome anytime to hop on there and ask any questions you want. Simply put, a variable is a container. A container where we take data and place it inside of it, and then access it through its name. And by accessing it, we can manipulate this data, change it, and have our desired effects in game. For example, we can take the position of the player on the x axis as a number, and then every time we up this number, the player will move left. When we reduce this number, he will move right. And right there, by manipulating a variable, we are able to change the player position, actually make him move in game. And the main thing about programming languages is the types. For These are the four most basic types, which are integers, which is a whole number, either positive or negative, floats, which are decimal numbers, either positive or negative, Booleans, which are either true or false, or strings, which are just characters or sentences like hi or two. Now, be careful and note right here, a two string is not a number. It is still considered a text. Now, writing a variable in GrowScript 2 is actually pretty simple. All you got to do is give it a name, preferably something that's represented, like my first name, or for example, my age then follow it with an equal sign and give it its value for example right here bob and right here five now note it is not necessary to understand why right now but before any variable write temp dot this will become clear further ahead in more advanced lessons let's manipulate the variables first an amazing perk of GrowScript 2 is that variables are not bound by their type at all. So, at any point in the code, tem.myFirstName can just become an integer, or a float, or even a boolean. It does not matter and it works. Now, to be, for that, to be able to differentiate between summing two numbers, say, 4 plus 6 or 4 plus 5 and actually gluing two strings together for example hello world the actual numbers are summed with the plus sign while strings are glued using the at symbol now i want my variables to actually interact in game and have a specific action. So I want my character to actually say my first name. For that, I can use a very special variable called player.chat. Now, every time it is changed, the player character will always say the string that is given to player.chat. For example, here, my name is, and then we glue it to the first variable, my first name, and when we press apply, yep, my name is Bob. And even changing the variable allows us to dynamically change what the character is going to say. So this works. And now let's add the age. So if I go here, player.chat equal my name is the first name. It's my first name. Then we glue to it, and my age is them dot my age, and we hit apply. Yep, my name is Alex, and my age is five. And and we can just go ahead and just change the age, change the name and to automatically update in-game. And now for some really attentive viewers, 
you may have noticed I didn't delete the first player dot chat, but oddly enough, the player never say it. You just go to the second one. Well, that is because the code is read from top to top to bottom, and player dot chat always says the most recent update to it. So basically, this line is being overwritten by this one. Now, to be able to test and see without overwriting this player dot chat and actually read some variables if need be for testing or debugging purposes, we can replace the player dot chat with an echo. And now if we hit apply, as you can see, the player said nothing. But when we go in game and actually access the log menu with F2, right here, my name is Alex, and my name is Alex, and my age is five. Now, there's a little visual bug with the actual console that always makes it print two times in a row. So it's not a very big deal. It's just that it just displays it twice. But yeah. Now, that's basically the concept of variables, and that is how we manipulate them in Jazz 2.